Hey there, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Salt Lake City, Utah. It was a hunter jumper barn and they had me in as a dressage trainer for a clinic, which is super cool. And honestly, what I love about dressage is that it really can help all disciplines. So whether you're a hunter, rider, jumping, um, dressage, endurance, eventing, Western riding, pleasure riding, I say dressage for all, and that really is true because at a very basic level, regardless of your discipline, you need to be able to communicate with your horse. You need to be able to go, stop, turn, have your horse supple, soft, and responsive. So it was really, really fun to come to this barn to work with some different disciplines. I love teaching clinics, and honestly, I really don't care the level of the rider, the breed of the horse, the saddle you're riding in. The only thing that matters to me is that you are willing and interested in learning and having a better partnership with your horse. So I'm going to share with you guys several different clips from different riders in the clinic. It's always really fun and challenging to meet a new horse and rider and to figure out the best way to help them. And you'll notice a lot of things about kind of my teaching style. I focus a lot on rider position. That you would close kind of this mm -hmm. one Mississippi. If he doesn't listen, then you'd give him kind of a sharp kick and then releasing your lower leg away so that there's a little bit of air between your heel and his side. Mm -hmm. That way, when you put it on, you should get a response and then releasing it a little bit. And transitions are a really good way to get your horse more reactive, where you're kind of go, slow down, go, slow down. So you're gonna stay on the same big circle to the left. And these cones are kind of a good marker for you so that you have a clear destination of where you're going. That's right. Yeah, but you'll just stay on the big circle to the left. We won't do the small circle. So up to the trot. Yeah, stay on that circle. There, he kind of veered towards the fence too much. Good. That's right. Good. Good. Think about your imaginary circle line. Yeah, a little more forward in the trot. Good. 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 Look up and see the cones. Good job. Good. And then you're going to go forward into the walk for four or five steps and then back to the trot. Walk, 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 walk and trot. Give a kick and keep your shoulders back. Yeah, give him a little kick again. Trot. There you go. And then releasing your lower leg. Better. Good. Now stay on your circle line. But after you get through the cones, you need to turn more because you keep ending up almost like you're going out the gate. So turn through the cones. Good job. Don't let him pull on you. Now turn left, turn left. Don't let him go to the gate. Good job. Now you're going to go forward to the walk for four or five steps and back to trot. Don't pull. Move the bit, move the bit. Always remember to get yourself and your body organized. So your alignment, your lower leg under you, your range short enough, because if you're out of position and out of balance, you're not going to be able to help your horse. Good. Stay on the big circle down here. Check your diagonal. Hands lower. There should be a straight line from your elbow to your horse's mouth. Good. Yeah, so that's too high with your hands. That's good. Half halt. Good. Good. And canter. Good job. There you go. And circle. That's right. Good. Good. Hands down. Good job. Lower your hands. A little more inside range so he looks in. Good. Stay on the circle. Inside rein, left rein, left rein. Good. Good. That's it. Hands lower, left rein. So in addition to like thinking about sitting up tall, also focus on your leg position. So far forward? yeah, sometimes, especially this right leg wants mm -hmm. to go like this. 
Okay. So you've got to think about keeping your knee into the saddle, okay. keeping so that your heel is right under your hip. So if you look down, if you can see your toe here, yeah. that's too far forward. Okay. The other thing is your stirrup. See how it's kind of like this? Yep. Like it should be perpendicular and you want the ball of your foot on the stirrup right like that. Okay. So you should feel even pressure from your big toe to your pinky okay. toe. <coughs> because your stirrup is what keeps you grounded. Okay. Just like when you're, this should be a little more in there. Just like when you're standing, right? Your mm -hmm. feet keep you grounded. Yeah. So it, when you're in the saddle, about the weight of your legs should be into your stirrups and the weight of your upper body should be into your seat. Okay. But you definitely want to be aware of feeling your stirrups across the ball of your feet. Good job, excellent. Good. Very good. Your seat again. Make your seat heavier and your hands lighter. That's it. You got her more up and round there. Good, and stretch up and transition to the trot. And half halt and soft. Good. Good. Yeah, good. Bending, bending, bending. Good. And move him off the left leg into the right rein and canter. Yeah, canter, canter, canter. A little more jump. Good. Do a full circle and canter. Go once all the way around and canter. Good. Just to say, yep, yeah, we want you to canter and have that jump in it. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Good boy, steady in the outside rein. Good. That's it. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Good job. And then before you get to the center line, you make your trot transition and immediately your small circle to the right. Turning, bending, turning in front of that mounting block. That's right. Not too low in front. Yep, turning, turning, good. Off your inside leg and kick, good. That was a nice transition. Do you feel how prompt it was? Good, good, that's right. Yep, and trotting. Um, if and you're turn. interested in having me for a clinic, Check out the description box below. There is a form that you can fill out if you'd like to apply to have me to your barn for a clinic. And a big thank you to the riders for letting me film them and letting me share their lessons with you guys. Let's give a big shout out and put in the comments box, thank you, because we're all learning, we're all trying to get better. And the more that we can share that and help one another, the better we all will be. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so that you get notified when I post a new video every single Wednesday. I'm trying to get up to 100,000 subscribers, so please help me out by subscribing, and I really hope that you enjoyed this video.